Welcome back to LabVIEW Basics. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub. In this section, we're going to learn about the LabVIEW environment. So I've launched LabVIEW, and you can see the Getting Started window is open on my desktop. I want to create a new LabVIEW application, which is called a VI, or Virtual Instrument. So I'll click on File and choose New VI. I could also use the hotkey Control N. When I do that, a new VI is created, and there are two windows open. The first, with the gray background, is the front panel. And this is our user interface. I can right click anywhere in the gray background to bring up the controls palette. And I can click this little tack to pin it down so it stays. The controls palette contains all of our user interface elements called controls and indicators. The other window is the block diagram. So I'll click on that to switch to it. The block diagram has a white background and contains all of our code for our application. I can right click anywhere on the block diagram to bring up the functions palette. The functions palette contains all of the code elements that we'll use to build up our application. It's helpful to be able to see the front panel and block diagram at the same time. So I'm going to click window and then choose tile up and down. And this lets me see both the front panel and block diagram at the same time. If I click on the front panel, you can see that the controls palette is still there because I pinned it down. And if I click on the block diagram to make that active, the functions palette is still there. So in the next section, we'll talk about controls and indicators and how we can build up a user interface. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.